All right, so I've done the scoring and the weighting. The weighting is uh, might be a bit ambiguous. It's just simply me measuring, you know, in weighting, basically. So uh, S&P has got a much more weight than the Dow Jones. The VIX has got the same score as the S&P. The Asian European indices have got a lower score because of the weighting. And so currently we're uh, scored out of 100 and we're 69 out of 100. So I'd say over 50%, over, yeah, over 50% would be bullish. So we're 69%, so we're quite risk on. And that does mirror what we're seeing here. All right, so that that's the dynamic value is that we're 69% bullish. If we creep below 50%, then, you know, could, we could be a bit risk off, but we are quite risk on. Uh, the five day percentage change has got a greater score than the percentage change on the day. And uh, obviously that makes sense. If we're strong over the last five days, then it's got a greater score than if we're strong today. And that's it. So we measured it out of 100 and um, that's it. So I'm, I'll be off in about 35 minutes. I need to get a bus to Cambridge and then a train from Cambridge to London. Uh, so that's all done. So we're quite bullish, we're quite risk on, and this will be updating over the course of the day. So if we go uh, negative, this is gonna change. And uh, if the VIX really spikes for whatever reason, we'll see that change, right? So this will be reflected on the QDB scores, and I need to, need to make this dynamic cell somewhere around here so it's easier to see.